to dear friends, maybe John doubted Jesus, but Jesus never doubted John. And same with you. When you doubt God, God doesn't doubt you. When you don't believe in God, God continues to believe in you. When you don't trust God, God continues to trust you. See, dear friends, all of us, even John the Baptist or his disciples, we go through these stages when we start to doubt God. Talaga namumuo yung pagdududa and questions. Why? Because we are going through a lot of challenges and sufferings. But let's not settle with those doubts. Na let, let's not take them as it is. Na okay, ito yung duda ko. Naku, baka nga si Lord talaga hindi na ako mahal. And just live our lives based on those doubts. No, don't do that. Let's do what John did. And what is that? We continue to be open and we talk to God about them, about our doubts, our questions. Tanungin mo ang Diyos, kausapin mo siya, magdasal ka sa Kanya, and ask God to reveal Himself to you. He will remind you again of who He is, of what He has done in your life, of what He is doing right now, kahit hindi mo napapansin may ginagawa siya, and what He promises for you, for your life, His great plans for you. And dear friends, more importantly, God will remind you of who you are. The greatness in you. That you have it in you to endure and overcome whatever difficult situation you are in. You have it in you because you have Him, God, Jesus, in you. So dear friends, let's continue to believe. Let's continue to trust that God is working for you. God is working through you. God is working in you. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Feast Orchard Thursdays and welcome to Feast at Home. Good evening and welcome, brothers and sisters. Namis namin kayo. Good evening, Sis Renly. Kamusta ka naman? Mabuti. Masaya kasi nung weekend, ano, uh, medyo hindi na umuulan, diba? So, nakapag-outdoor activities. Pero I cannot complain yung bed weather nung um, first few weeks ng January, diba? Saya. Ikaw, Sis, kamusta? Ay, nako, so yes, I feel you. But before I answer your question, brothers and sisters, click nyo naman ang StreamYard link na makikita nyo sa chat box nyo. Yan, so um, provide kayo ng access sa inyong Facebook account so that later on kapag nagko-comment na kayo, we will be able to see your names and we can acknowledge your comments. Yan, going back sis, really sa question mo, yun, happy din ako and excited sa 2021. Meron pa akong New Year's um, vibes. And happy din kasi dahil nga sa weather, yun, back on track na ako sa aking fitness goals. Wow, talagang fitness goals yan. Ganyan tayo, marami tayong mga New Year's resolutions. Sana matupad yan at dere-derecho, diba? Yan. So, do we have any first-timers for tonight? So, yung mga nag-invite, may we ask you to please tag them para alam nila na nagsistart na tayo ngayon. So, welcome to first-timers! Yan, welcome to our first-timers! Keep tagging lang, brothers and sisters, your family, friends, and colleagues. At kung sino pang uh, maisip nyo na itag tonight. And also, don't forget to share our link. And you will never know, brothers and sisters, kung sino ang mabibless nyo at may inspire din kasama natin tonight. And of course, we want to know where are you watching from. Yan. Ako, nandito pa rin ako sa Buona Vista. Ikaw, si Sreddy, saan ka ngayon? Sa Ballester. Hindi yata yan magbabago in the next month. So, yan ang maririnig nyo from <laughs> Ayan. So, mga brothers and sisters, please start to comment para malaman naman natin at mag-greet at ma-shout out nga natin kung nasa saan ba kayo for tonight. Ayan. So, nasan ba? Why don't you share it with us and start commenting na mga brothers and sisters? Ayan. Sis, baka naman may mga blessings tayong pwedeng i-share. Ay, oo. Gusto ko yan. Kasi super excited nga tayo this year, di ba? I'm sure marami tayong blessings talaga na receive. And because of that, um, ang greatest blessings ko um, or blessing ko this year is that uh, nag-turn ako ng, sev- nag-celebrate ako ng 7th year anniversary sa company namin, January 2nd. Wow, congratulations. Thank you, sis. Ikaw, sis. Anong greatest blessing mo for the week? 
ako for the week, siguro last week, last week kasi nag 10th wedding anniversary kami ng husband ko. So talagang, Talaga biggest blessing yan, I guess, for the whole year for me. O, di ba? Ten years yun. Wow! Congratulations din sa inyo ni Bro Jeff, sis. Uh, Ayan, you. may nakita na ako ng comment, sis. Um, from Raffle City, si sis Cathy. Ayan. Welcome, sis. Ayan. Wow, si sis si Marilyn. Si <laughs> siya po. Watching, watching from Bukit Bato. Wow. Andyan pala ang MM sa inyo ulit. Super blessed. Welcome. Yan. Si Sis um, Tang. Nasa Yunos daw siya. From Yunos. Welcome, Sis. Ayan. Comment lang kayo, brothers and sisters. And katulad na napag-usapan namin ni Sis Relly just a while ago, share nyo naman din sa amin kung anong greatest blessing nyo for the week. Ayan. Gusto rin namin ma-inspire at ma-flip, lalong-lalo na sa um, start of the year. So comment lang kayo dyan, brothers and sisters. Oo. Yan. Tama. Yan. Si Chaser Chaser from Cavite, Jurong East. So, dalawa silang nanonood, I suppose. <laughs> Ito, from Sis Andrea. Hello, Sis. Sis watching from Hogang. Welcome, Hello, Sis. Sis. Yan. Oh, yung mga blessings nyo, please uh, share it with us. Let's inspire uh, each other, di ba? Para start ng year. Uh, positive vibes kagad, di ba? Oo. Ito, banggitin ko lang to. Last week, nandito din to. Oh, ayan muna si Sis Jenny from Teban Gardens. Welcome, Sis! Hi, Sis Jenny. Sino, Sis? Ang ibabanggitin mo ulit dahil nandito Ayon, siya ulit. Si bro, si bro Herbert. Yan, nandito rin siya. Daddy siya ni um, Sis Christina. Welcome po. Welcome po inyo dyan sa Cebu. All the way from Cebu. Hello po. Good evening. Yan. So, ano, mga blessings natin. Mukhang ano, mabilis yata tayo ngayon si Sla Arnie, no? Nandun pa lang sila sa where are you from, nasa where blessings from? na tayo, di ba? <laughs> Ayan, keep tagging your friends lang po, yung mga in-invite nyo para alam nila na nagsastart na tayo. Ayan. Ah, Ayan. Aba, si Sla Arnie, meron pang greeting sa'yo dito, ha? <laughs> Hi, girl! <laughs> May pa special shout out for you. So, ano ba, sis? Kasi mukhang walang magsushare. Ay. Oh, eto! <laughs> si Marlene! Yan ang blessing ko. Congratulations, sis! Good job! Yan, start of the week. Good job! Oh, pwede na, sis, magpahinga. Mm-hmm. Sarado ng tindahan for the, ano, for the week. Ayan. Greatest blessing ni sis uh, Anlin. Nakasahod na rin po sa wakas. Ay, ang aga naman sis. Maga ba ulit? <laughs> Ayan. Ayan. And if last week, brothers and sisters, na pag usapan natin kung ano mga goals nyo for this month na gusto nyo ma-achieve, how about this uh, tonight? Pag-usapan naman natin kung ano ang mga um, special prayer intentions nyo. Ayan. And as one family, brothers and sisters, let us pray for one another. And also, our intercessory ministry, ayan, nag-iti-take notes nila ang inyong mga um, prayer requests, and they will also pray for us. So, yan, brothers and sisters, comments lang kayo. But yeah. before that, ikaw, Sister Andy, anong ano mo, prayer, special prayer intention mo for the, for the month? Ba? Ayan, brothers and sisters, bago ko sagutin, mag-type na kayo para later we can share it. At saka manote din ang uh, uh, intercessory ministry namin. Ano, January for our family, sobrang parang ano yun, daming event. Birthday ng mommy ko, birthday ng sister ko, at ng tita ko din kasi twin sister. May twin yung mom ko. So yan, birthday ng tito ko. Tapos tatlo kami nag-celebrate ng wedding aniv. Ako, sister ko, at saka yung... Cousin, first cousin ko. So, we I pray for all of them. Ang special intention ko, kung ano yung mga nasa desires of their heart, uh, sana matupad, di ba? Kasi start of the year. So, yun. Yun lang talaga special intentions ko for my family. Pag-pray. Lahat ng nasa puso nila. Matupad. Pag-pray natin yan, sis. And thank you for sharing. Ganda. Ang daming mga special events nga talaga. Mm-hmm. Super. Napaka-January pa lang, simula pa lang, ang dami na kagad. Ayan, si Sis Wendy, sabi niya, please pray for my brother po, uh, Menandro Membri... 
ano, membrilios. Maging okay na siya sana. Pag-pray natin si Wendy, sana maging okay man siya kung ano man pinapagdaanan niya. Yan. Yun. So, keep it coming, brothers and sisters, ang mga comments nyo, ang mga gusto nyo ipag-pray natin. Pero don't worry, we'll have this also later on kung nag-iisip pa kayo ng inyong special intention or nahihiya kayong i-share sa sa ano, sa Facebook message, uh, Facebook ano tawag dito, post nyo. Yan. Yeah, from Sis Mindy, praying for my family safety and good health always. Praying with you, Sis. Mm -mm. Talagang makikita mo, no, Sis Larini, talagang uh, importante, importante ang family sa atin. Malapit man, malayo, yun talaga yung una nating nasa isip, di ba? Tama, tama, Sis. Agree mm -hmm. with you. Yan, comment lang kayo, brothers and sisters. Yan, kung hindi mo namin mo-mention ngayon, babalikan namin ang mga comments nyo yan later. Mm -mm. Ayan. So, brothers and sisters, tonight, Brother Pao, Brother Pao will share how we can um, trust God and surrender everything to Him. We are not supposed to carry our burdens alone. Let us, uh, let's, uh, let's um, carry it with Jesus. Please stay with us. We are sure that we will um, get to get a new blessing or takeaway tonight. Don't forget to share our link and tag your friends. So now, let's settle down as we are about to start with our worship. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Feast Orchard Online Service. Tonight, let's come before the Lord and ask for His forgiveness for all the sins that we are committing. For all the sins in the past, all the anger that we have in our hearts that until now we are carrying, for the poison that keeps flowing in our soul, may we ask His forgiveness and His mercy upon us. And let's pray that may His heart be, be our heart is. What he sees, what he, we see. What he desires is what we desire. And what he loves is what we love. And may he keep our heads above the waters. For we know that he is our hope. And he is our Savior. As we all pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
sisters and welcome to our feast online yan so thursday na naman kalain niyo nakakadalong feast na tayo uh, bukas lang di ba mag malapit na rin mag end ang january for all we know biglang mid of the year na and end na ng 2021 grabe ang ang layo naman ng narating ko and so we are in our series rhythms of grace yan and you're still studying the book of Matthew and in this section Matthew describes the different responses of people towards Jesus as the Messiah so merong positive response who believed in Jesus there are negative response who rejects Jesus and there are ito naman yung last week talk natin there are people who naniniwala naman sila pero hindi nawawala yung there are times that they, they have doubts and example nga dyan is with John the Baptist some Bible scholars say that uh, it is for the disciples that they need the confirmation if si Jesus nga ba talaga yung Messiah or they need to look for, for somebody else but Jesus, this is the bottom line even if we, we doubt God God never doubts us. Even if we, we stop trusting and believing in God, God continues to trust and believe in us. Amen? So tonight, in talk 2, ang babasahin naman natin are the people who rejected Jesus. So if you are already, let's come before Him and pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. And of the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Together, let's pray. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word, so I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I'm God's beloved, I'm God's servant, I'm God's powerful champion, and because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's honor his word. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Man, akalain nyo, di ba? Parang more than one year na pala akong kumakanta ng thy word. Parang walang nag-improve. Ganon pa rin. Di ba? So, talk to. The title is a road that gives rest. Can you preach that to the person beside you? A road that gives rest. And the big message is this. Your burden fits you well. Again, your burden fits you well. As I've mentioned, di ba, ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon are the negative uh, responses of, of people towards Jesus. In fact, these are towns who were rejecting Jesus. So if you have your Bibles with you, turn to chapter 11, Matthew chapter 11, verses 20 to 21 and 23. Let's read together. Then Jesus began to denounce the towns where he had done so many of his miracles because they hadn't repented of their sins and turned to God. What sorrow awaits you, Chorazin and Bethsaida? For if the miracles I did in you had been done in wicked Tyre and Sidon, their people would have repented of their sins long ago. And you people of Capernaum, will you be honored in heaven? No, you will go down to the place of the dead. For if the miracles I did for you had been done in the wicked Sodom, it would still be here today. So dear friends, Jesus mentions uh, these three Jewish uh, towns where he performed many miracles. Sobrang dami niyang pinerform na miracles. Corazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum. And yet, 
they rejected Jesus. And then Jesus mentioned three gentle towns naman, Tyre, Sidon, and Sodom. And these are not just any gentle towns. They are wicked and famous for idolatry. Ito yung mga towns na yan. And the prophets in the Old Testament, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, they, they condemned Tyre and Sidon. And Sodom, maybe some of your familiar, God burned to ashes itong Sodom because of its great wickedness. So if you're living in Chorazin, Bethsaida, Capernaum, a Jew, they are Jewish towns. Tapos you would hear Jesus comparing them to these wicked cities. Di ba? Para ma-offend ka. And why is, is, is Jesus talking to them this way? Ano bang gustong gawin Jesus? Dear friends, Jesus wants three things for, for these Jewish towns to do. The first is this. Jesus wants them to remove their mask. Yes, we all wear masks. Wala pang COVID, wala pang pandemic, we are all wearing masks. We are trying to hide what's bad in us. Iba gusto natin itago yan. And sometimes the way to do that is to maybe to shift the focus of other people dun sa iba na ang daming masasamang ginagawa, di ba? Para wag tayong mapansin sa masama nating mag ginagawa, tingnan na lang natin yung ibang mas, mas masasama yung ginagawa. And we try to look good by comparing ourselves to people who are worse than us. So we we, we, we look good when we compare ourselves to maybe criminals, di ba? Mga, mga, mga sinungaling, mga manloloko, di ba? Mukha ang bait-bait natin compared to them. And so, ayaw nating ma-compare kanino doon sa mga lamang sa atin. Gusto natin i-compare tayo sa mas mababa sa atin para angat tayo, di ba? And kaya nga ayaw natin uh, alam mo 'yun, ayaw nating tumabi sa mga ano, mga mapapayat. Bakit? Kasi nagmumukha tayong mataba. Ayaw natin tumabi sa mapuputi. Bakit? Kasi mukha tayong maitim. Sayang naman ang mahal-mahal ng sabon, di ba? Na binili natin pamputi. Kaya Dear friends, ayaw mo nang mag-compare ka sa lamang sa iyo. Gusto mo i-compare ka dun sa lamang ka, 'di ba? Para angat ka. Kaya pag may mga tumatabi sa iyong mga magaganda, 'di ba? Huwag kang mag-bog, kang basta mainis, huwag kang magalit, 'di ba? Isipin mo na lang ang motto nila, birds of the same feather flock together. Yan, 'di ba? Pampalubag loob. Ha, mukhang gusto lang talaga nila makasama ka kasi maganda ka rin. Yan. See, dear friends, in ancient Jews, they, they were looking down to this gentle town, star Sidon and Sodom and they would label them as wicked, 'di ba? Makakasalanan 'tong mga towns na 'to. And compared to them, sila yung mababait, 'di ba? Kumpara naman sa kanila, kami yung holy, kami yung mababait. But in the process of comparing themselves to this to this gentle towns, they are they don't see their own evil. Hindi nila alam how they are rejecting already the Messiah. So dear friends, Gentile or Jewish town, Christians or non-Christians, feaster or non-feaster, servant or attendee, evil could be present among us. No one is immune. And that's why we, we, we all wear masks at one point or another. And that is why we all need Jesus. Lahat tayo walang exempted. So let's remove our mask and be humble enough and ask ourselves, is there evil in my life? And if there is, we come before God without our mask and let God point to us our, our, our weaknesses, kung saan tayo nagkukulang, ano mga dapat nating baguhin. And we allow God's love to transform us. Because if we don't remove our mask, if we don't acknowledge all our weaknesses, then paano tayo magbabago? How can we change them? So yes, we need to remove our mask and be naked in front of God's transforming love. Amen? So second thing that Jesus wants these towns to do, the first one, remove their mask. Second is, don't play God. You see, Chorazim, Bethsaida, and Capernaum, they were fishing villages along the Sea of Galilee. And nasa taas nung, nung itong uh, towns na to is the Mount Arbel. So yan yung picture, yan yung view from Mount Arbel. So yan yung Sea of Galilee. Tapos yung mga towns dyan, kita nyo rin. And this Mount Arbel, it is the headquarters of a Jewish religious rebel movement called Zealots. Ano ba ito mga Zealots na to? Their goal is to kick out the Roman oppressor. Diba? Gusto nilang patalsikin ang mga Roman oppressors. And they are willing to do anything and everything, even murder, even to kill people, to make it happen. 
And these three towns, itong Corazin, Bethsaida, and Capernaum, so kita nyo naman, nasa baba lang. So dito sila nagre-recruit, di ba, ng mga magjo-join sa kanilang violent revolution. And that's why Jesus is telling these towns, no, stop playing God. There's another way. And that is to love your enemies. Pero ikaw na yung sabihin ng love your enemies. Maybe parang sa'yo parang ang hirap naman nun, di ba? That could be an insane message. And this town, that's why they did not listen to Jesus. Hindi sila nakinig. And they joined this movement, this rebel movement. Because they wanted to define good and bad in their own terms. They want to put matters into their own hand. Sila nang gagawa ng paraan para mapatalsik tong mga Roman oppressors. And they chose the path of violence. And yun nga yung nakuha nila, violence. Because in 70 AD, Roman General Titus and his armies totally destroyed Jerusalem. But you know what historians say? Ito, ito na lang yung, yung final touch of the destruction of Jerusalem. Because even before that happened, the Silots were already destroying Jerusalem from within. How? Because they are killing Jewish leaders who, who were not as radical as they were. So, Jews killing Jews. Yun yung nangyari. That prepared the destruction of Jerusalem. So, dear friends, are you playing God? Are you defining good and bad in your own terms? Are you putting matters into your own hands? Kasi ang bagal ng Diyos, ako na lang ang bahalang dumiskarte. Ako na lang gagawa ng paraan. Dear friends, you need to be careful because that will lead to destruction. It will destroy you. It will destroy the people around you when you play God. So if we are playing God, we, we repent and we return to God. And the third thing that Jesus wants this town to do, so first is remove their mask. Second is stop playing God. And third, get real rest. So in Matthew verse chapter 11, verse 28, Jesus said, Come to me, all of you, who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. Question, what is the heaviest burden in the world? Oh, mas mabigat pa sa pinakamabigat mong problema. What is that? That is taking matters into your hands. That is playing God. Imagine, you want to play God and try to control everything. You want to define good and bad in your own terms. Napakabigat ng ginagawa mo at napakadelikado. Another question, what is the greatest rest you can ever have? Answer, taking matters into God's hands. Yes. Well, what's the best rest that you can ever have? That is trusting God, surrendering everything to Him and following Him. That is true rest. That is having true peace, knowing that God is in control and letting Him do things out of your control. We let God be God. When Jesus said, I will give you rest, hindi naman sinabi ni Jesus na, okay, sige, uh, file ka na lang ng leave. Siyempre, wag MC. File ka ng leave. Eh, di ba? Yung valid talaga. Yung staycation ka naman dyan. Di ba? Pahinga ka muna. No? Jesus didn't say that. Jesus said, I will give you rest. Tapos sabi niya, take my yoke upon you. Grabe naman si Jesus. No? Pinagpapahinga ka, pero may pinabubuhat din sa iyo. Ano nga ba yung yoke? So yan you have in the picture, that is a wooden crossbar that is carried by two oxen. So ang purpose niyan para magkasama kayo so that the plowing of the field would be more efficient. So the key word there is together. Sometimes one of the two oxen, isa dito yung mature oxen na, and, and do sa katabi niya would be a young oxen, and the mature oxen would guide the, the young one. And so yun, nandyan yung teaching and guiding. But the, the, here is... Two oxen carrying the burden, carrying the load. And so when Jesus tells the people, take my yoke upon you, He's speaking to you, He's telling you that whatever burden that you are carrying, you are not supposed to carry your burden alone. You are supposed to carry it with Jesus. Jesus carries your burden with you. That's why if, if your burden is too much, di ba, hindi ka na makatulog, to the point that you, you want to give up, give up with your situation, give up in life, pag sobrang bigat na to the point that you want to, to give up, you need to ask yourself, are you trying to carry your burden alone? Then stop that. In, God is inviting you to share your burden with Him. 
Because that is how you get real rest. By allowing God to carry your burden with you. And Jesus describes His yoke. For my yoke is easy. Ano nga ba tong, uh, sinasabi dito? The Greek, the original Greek of this verse means my yoke fits well. And you need to remember that Jesus is a carpenter. So yung yung uh, primary trade niya na, na ginagawa would be farming tools. Yung carpentry would be making uh, farming tools. So in ancient times, when you want to buy a yoke for your oxen, dadalhin mo dun yung iyong mga ox, di ba? And susukatan dun ng carpenter. And so the carpenter would try to make a, a yoke that would perfectly fit yung, yung oxen mo na gusto mong pagsamahin. Kailangan sakto lang, di ba? Sa balikat, hindi mo sasaktan yung ox, or hindi magkakaroon mga blisters. It should uh, perfectly fit. So what God is telling us, if you want real rest, follow me. Because following me will fit you well. Dear friends, when we take God's yoke, Jesus' yoke upon us, it's not that God would follow us. It is we who will follow God. And that would be true rest for us because we know that when God leads us, it is towards what's best for us. And that would bring us peace in our lives. Amen? Some people think that uh, ha- having a rest means dropping everything and doing nothing. Diba? Yun yung hihintay natin na, Lord, kala ko ba pahinga? So dapat wala kaming gagawin. But doing nothing is, that's not rest, that's emptiness. That's meaning meaninglessness, di ba? Pag wala kang ginagawa. And sometimes when you do nothing, that could lead to death. Pag ang tagal mong walang ginagawa, you could die in your spirit. You could die w- with your self-worth. Diba? Ang baba na ng tingin mo. Parang wala ka ng purpose sa buhay. And yes, yeah, sometimes it would lead to physical death. See dear friends, hindi naman when we need rest, doesn't mean na kailangan wala tayong gawin. When, when we feel drained, diba? burnt out na tayo. Because we, we don't get drained because of too much work hindi kasi sobrang dami nating ginagawa we get drained because we lack two things whatever it is na ginagawa natin we lack two things that is purpose and relationship so you need to ask yourself that something that you are doing diba you're you're so busy about consuming your time your energy ask yourself is it fulfilling my god given purpose diba kasi baka hindi kaya hirap na hirap ka you need to ask yourself, is that something that you're doing adding value to your relationships with God, with the people, with yourself? O baka tipong lahat naman, kung baga, yung ginagawa mong yan, lahat kontra lahat, di ba? Nakakasira sa yung sa yung pamilya, sa yung spiritual life. It is destroying your relationship. Kaya kasi siguro drain na drain. See dear friends, sometimes you carry things that God did not assign us to carry. These are burdens taking us away from our true purpose, our God-given purpose. These burdens are, are destroying our relationships. And then you will ask God, Lord, kala ko ba tutulungan mo ko? Di ba? Hirap na hirap na ako dito, ayaw mo pa akong tulungan. Well, kung hindi tumutulungan Diyos, because that is, God wants you to drop that kind of burden. That burden that is taking you away from your purpose, that burden that is destroying you and your relationships. God is telling you, drop that. That is not your God-assigned burden. Dear friends, you need to ask yourself, are you carrying what God never intended you to carry? Diba? Kaya ka pagod na pagod, kaya ka burnt out and drain na drain. Are you carrying what God never intended you to carry? See dear friends, in following Jesus, we all have burdens to carry. We should be carrying burdens, but they are happy burdens. Because they are God-assigned burden. The truth is this, real rest is carrying with God our God-assigned burden and surrendering everything else into His hands. Yung bubuhatin mo lang, yung pinabubuhat sa'yo ng Diyos. And everything else, we surrender to Him. See, we're talking about happy burdens, and one example would be serving the church in the community. And yes, I, I agree, these are happy burdens. But you know what? I, I realize, parang mas madali. It's easier to, to carry burdens when the, the, the invitation is very clear. Why? Because we are in the worship place and with the talks, with the teachings. 
you will hear people uh, you will hear the speaker tell you to serve diba? and so th that's a clear calling invitation for us to to serve to carry burden that's why somehow it is easier aside from there are expectations people around us diba? if you're in a worship place in the feast or in the church people are expected to be kind to be courteous to be generous kaya mas madaling pagsilbihan to mga to na maging mabait din sa kanila but imagine this Serving outside that expectation, outside the church, di ba? Could be in marriage, parenting, or sa trabaho, sa business, dealing with people, di ba? With no expectations na magiging mabait din sila sa'yo. Giving, that is not so easy anymore, di ba? Kasi minsan, walang bumabalik sa'yo. Minsan, sila pa yung galit. Ikaw na yung nagmagandang loob, sila pa yung galit. So, are, are these also happy burdens? Will you happily carry this burden? Diba? Yung iba parang, huwag na nga lang, kaya diba? Parang hirap tumulong kapag alam mong ikaw pa yung mapapasama. See dear friends, these are also supposed to be happy burdens. Why? Because they help us follow Jesus. Yes, kahit mahirap. Jesus invites us that if you want to follow me, He's telling us to, de to deny yourself and take up your cross daily. Yes. So all these things, the difficult people, may it be in marriage, parenting, diba? at work, in your business, people that you do not know, na sobrang, they are difficult to deal with. Well, these are opportunities for us to truly deny ourselves and serve them without expectations. A heavy cross indeed, di ba? Mas madaling mag-serve pag mababait yung pinagsisilbihan. But these difficult people, para mas mabigat yung cross. But dear friend, let me remind you that crosses are supposed to be heavy. That sometimes when we don't feel the burden anymore, when things become too easy for us, maybe because we already stopped carrying one. Yan. Maybe because we've already stopped denying ourselves and serving people and we started denying others and serving ourselves. Dear friends, let's never stop carrying happy burden because time will come that they will become lighter. But this is not just a, a situation for us to take a rest and do nothing. No, when they become lighter, that's an invitation from God to carry new happy burdens. To serve more people, to bless more people. Carry your happy burden. Find rest in following Jesus because that fits you well. Jesus fits you well. Amen.
Blessed brothers and sisters. Nako, napaka-impactful naman ng um, talk natin for tonight. Thank you, Bro Pao, and our worship ministry. Yan, sa inspirational um, talk at uh, worship uh, song natin. Alam mo ako, sis, ready, tamang-tama yung talk para sa akin uh, tonight. Kasi, di ba, bagong, uh, bagong taon, ang daming gustong gawin. Yan. Pero for sure, um, I need to ask myself kung connected ba to lahat sa yoke na gustong ipakeri sa akin ni Lord. So, get real rest by following Jesus and taking His yoke and surrendering everything else to Him. Ikaw, sis, ready, anong takeaway mo for tonight? Actually, same tayo. Yun din yung na-realize ko, diba? Parang ang dami-dami natin gustong gawin sa buhay natin, diba? Parang sobrang busy. Tapos akalala natin, ang rest na kailangan lang natin is physical rest. Pero yun pala, yung rest meaning we have to surrender everything to the Lord. Lahat ng mga ginagawa natin, isipin natin, it's for for the Lord and for the people uh, that that is around us, diba? So yun, brothers and sisters, meron ba kayong gustong i-share? Na take away nyo din for tonight, like yung na-share namin ni Sis uh, La Arni. Maybe there is uh, God's message for you tonight na talagang dun sa talk for tonight, eh yun ang nagpaantig ng puso nyo, diba? Yan. So uh, comment lang kayo, then at least para mabasa natin dito at ma-share natin sa iba. Yun. Pero yun talaga, sis La Arnie, agreeing-agree ako sa'yo na ang dami-dami talaga ang mga bagay-bagay. Nakakatuwa sis kasi talagang sakto siya no, na beginning of the year. So magandang reminder to at hit mm. talaga natin sa heart natin. Mm-hmm. Yan from Miss Rocky, we will never be alone. God is always with us, carrying our burdens yeah. all the time. Thank you sis, thank you for sharing with us. Yeah. Ito may nakita ko kanina kay Sis Marilyn. Kanina pa to. Oh, uh, by the way, oh, sige, kay Sis Cathy muna. Ayan, sabi ni Sis Cathy, to trust and surrender everything to God, to serve without expectations. Yan. Agree din ako dyan, galing. Ganda, ganda naman yan. Ayun, going back kay Sis Marilyn, sabi niya, real, real rest is to trust God and surrendering everything to Him. So yun nga, yung katul- same din ang sinabi natin kanina. 
talaga namang napaka-impactful nung, nung, nung line na yon kasi ang daming um, nating, uh, ang daming naka-relate. Naka mm. Ang daming, uh, sasabihin ko ang daming <laughs> learnings ni Sis Yap, ni Sis Marilyn for tonight. Oh. Surrender in God's purpose for your life. Talagang connect, connect. Connect yan talaga. <laughs> yeah. Oh, comment lang kay brothers and sisters. Mamaya, babalikan natin ang mga comments nyo. And who, who knows, brothers and sisters, yung ibang nagchat-chat din, uh, makakuha din sila at ma-inspire din sila sa mga um, takeaways nyo for tonight. And for now, we will have um, some announcement. Yan. Follow, like, and share our Facebook and Instagram accounts so that you will be updated sa daily happenings sa Feast or Church Thursdays. Yan, um, in-update yan ang marketing ministry natin every single day, brothers and sisters, mga prayers, um, activities as well, yan, para tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang interactions natin. na is ba kayo sa worship songs natin? We have our Spotify account, yan, pwedeng-pwede nyo yan i-follow, brothers and sisters, so that you can play our worship songs in even in advance, anytime and anywhere you want. Also, mayroon din kaming YouTube channel, brothers and sisters. Yan. Kung gusto nyong ulit-ulitin yung version ng uh, worship ministry natin, yan. Pwedeng, pwede nyo silang um, i-replay. So don't forget, brothers and sisters, to subscribe, like, and uh, click the bell button para ma-notify ma kayo every time na merong new uploads sa YouTube channel natin. Yan. Um, thank you sa announcement, Sis Larnie. Meron pa rin, don't forget, hindi sa Thursday nag end ang kamustahan at update session natin. Tomorrow's Friday. Ano bang meron pag Friday? Meron tayong ORT Connect. So yan, isa pang way for us to, ano, to get to know you, malaman namin ang mga opinion nyo sa mga bagay-bagay. So every time we're meron tayong topic of the week, so we are looking forward sa mga feedback nyo at mga sagot natin dyan. Ayan, na-mention din natin kanina, we have our prayer warriors who will pray for your prayer pat petitions. So if you weren't able to send it uh, a while ago, you can send it via Facebook. Messenger o kaya via um, text message na naka-flash sa screen nyo ngayon. So, uh, as a community, we pray for your prayer pet petitions. Ayan. So, you can also share your answered prayers too and let us continue to inspire each other. Yeah, tama yan. And now, brothers and sisters, it's time to give back to the Lord. Yan. We encourage your brothers and sisters to take part in our mission of bringing more people closer to Jesus. So you can do so, brothers and sisters, through tithes, a pledge of love, or love offering. The details could be seen um, in your screens. Yan, intayin lang natin. Yeah. Ngayon, uh, mamaya, mamaya, uh, ipa-flash natin sa screen ang uh, details ng kung paano mag-tie um, sa mga de transfer details natin. And also, brothers and sisters, if you have question kung paano ginagamit ang contributions natin or kung saan napupunta ang mga donations um, sa Feast or Church Thursday, you can always contact si Siapot. Yan. Yung numbers niya will also be flashed in the screen. So, mag um, or maybe in the details uh, later na ipapresent or i-upload sa ating Facebook account. Yan. And now, I think ready na tayo mag-pray. Can I invite you brothers and sisters for a short prayer? In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Loving Father, we thank you for all your blessings, healing, and protection. Thank you for another year to experience, Lord, your overflowing grace and mercy. Lord, we have to present to you the works of our hands. Use this, Lord, to bless more people and inspire more people, Lord, and draw them closer to you. With trusting heart, Lord, we lift up to you the desires of our hearts, all our dreams, and all our goals this 2021. May you grant all of this, Lord, according to your will in your perfect time. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen, amen. So thank you for welcoming, welcoming us in your homes, brothers and sisters. Don't forget to tune again next week, same time, same platform. So next Thursday, we will understand uh, the real meaning of Sabbath. That's right. More of Rhythms of Grace series next week, brothers and, sister, uh, brothers and sisters. See you again next week and good night. Good night. Bye-bye.
brothers and sisters, God has indeed blessed us tonight. So let us end our service with a joyful worship as we sing and dance for Him. Shall be world without end. Amen. See you guys next Thursday.